Welcome back to the channel. There's my team of mules. I'm just joking. I don't know where they're going. But uh, I'm headed up to the co-op. Get some seed. And we're going to finish up soybeans in this video. Maybe. Hopefully. So I got the 1066 back at the shop. I uh, got a little project I'm working on to uh, get these beans through this uh, wheat stubble, see where I'm going. I'm putting uh, guidance on it. Actually just a GPS, I just need to know where I'm going. So I'm having to make some brackets and stuff like that and uh, I'll bring you back when I get all that hooked up. Well, voila. Got my antenna here. Got my FM 750 mounted on the fender. We're going to run what we got left on the seed tender in the drill and load up a few bags and get started. It's ended up being later than what I wanted to to get started on this field, but I, I figured it was going to be a day and a half job anyways. So we'll bring you back here in a minute. Ones in the bags not treated. Those come out of the seed tender out of bulk. They're treated. And these are not. That's what soybeans looks like. For anybody that don't know. So each one of these bags are 51.22 pounds. Oh, uh, and there are 140,000 seeds. So what I want to do is I'm going to up this for the double crop. So I'm going to move it on about 23. Maybe that will give me uh, 160,000. And I want to do that in this wheat stubble. She's full, about 20 bags, I think, is what it took. So I've got it on 23. Actually, 24. That'll work. So we got a valve here that releases our uh, hydraulics. And put it in gear back here. 
We'll need two hands putting you down. see the stripes how far I got over uh, I still like a whole lot I'm about a third of the way done uh, so I'll bring y'all back in the morning we'll finish this up and uh, probably today's Thursday probably Saturday I'll look see if we need to replant any beans we've already got planted but Hopefully this will be it on bean planting. Well, good morning. It's a nice morning, a little windy. It's going to be breezy today. Just kind of done a walk around before I get started. Oh, got half a hopper. I'm not going to put any seed in it to probably after lunch. Well, I'm going to check the oil and uh, get this thing rolling. Got a lot more seed than what I thought I did because it was low in that corner where that floater is.
it's looking awful rainy but there's only like 16 percent the greatest chance at three o'clock be nice if it would rain and hopefully i'm done by three o'clock I'm gonna put two, 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 and two. That'll be eight. And then I'll probably split two, one here and one there. Well, I decided to just go with eight bags. Uh, rather put, have to put more in and then uh, have a bunch left over. I can return that. So we lack about two and a half, maybe three acres. So let's go check the seed. Indicator is showing low. We got plenty. I'm just going to have to shuffle some around. This side is real low. Whole lot more over on this side. Up, I'm gonna shuffle it around. Well, I got it a little bit closer. Uh, you can just see how much I like there. Dad's coming with a seed scoop. So he may ride the last few passes back here. Well, I got done. Uh, went ahead and let the drill down across the field here. Uh, just a couple passes left. 
blew a tire. That needs air in it. So dad's gonna get the uh, air tank. See how much we ended up with. Well, it was about out. Well, I may have a little replant to do in some places, but uh, this is the last of the planting of anything for 2021. So, uh, it's been a wild ride this spring. Tractor's going down. Uh, planter's tearing up. But the main thing is we got it done. So I'm gonna thank you for watching and uh, leave me a comment. Thanks for subscribing and we'll catch y'all on the next one.